This is BBC News. I'm Sean Lay with the headlines at four o'clock. The global emergency is declared by the World Health Organization as the international monkeypox outbreak worsens. We have an outbreak that has spread around the world rapidly through new modes of transmission about which we understand too little. Officials in Kent declare a major incident for a second day running as long queues form in Dover. Delays are also being reported this afternoon by travellers heading for the Eurotunnel in Folkestone, also in Kent, with traffic crawling on the approach roads. Russian missiles hit the port of Odessa one day after Ukraine and Russia agreed to restart grain exports, including from that port. Rishi Sunak takes to the campaign trail as the race to become the next leader of the British Conservative Party and Prime Minister heats up. He said he was the only candidate telling the truth about tax. I will deliver tax cuts, but tax cuts you can believe in. I will make that happen. Hello, very good afternoon to you. In the past hour, the Secretary General of the World Health Organization has formally declared the outbreak of monkeypox as a public health emergency of international concern. The director of the WHO, Dr. Tedros Cabrasis, says 16,000 cases of the disease have been reported in more than 75 countries. Five people have died. Dr. Cabrasis says monkeypox represents a high risk in Europe with a clear risk of further international spread. Under the international health regulations, I'm required to consider five elements in deciding whether an outbreak constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. First, the information provided by